In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to apply a texture with the planner method. We have already used the box method for this three-dimensional neck. However, only the top of the guitar body should get a texture. The rest will be painted opaque. I will use this car paint black material from the automotive materials for the opaque paint. For the texture on top, again, I will use the varnished oak material from the wood library. And as you can see, the alignment is vertical again. But by using the alignment method planner, we can actually define the alignment ourselves. Therefore, I will have to edit this material. And I'm going to select my user defined image which is going to replace the oak image. I will use the green painted maple. The alignment is equal to the alignment in Microsoft Windows. It is upwards and the origin of this image is here at this point. Anyway, we have to adjust the alignment method to planner. Then the possibilities are given to both defining the origin, which should not be up here, but here below, as well as the orientation. It is very striking now that everything is dyed very monotone green. And this is simply because the picture is still very small. Of course, it might happen that the picture is too big, then you just have to zoom in or out a little bit. Unfortunately, you will not get any information here. As a scaling value, I'm going to use 600. In the next step, I'm going to define the origin, which is done by eye approximately at the bottom left of the picture. The overall thing is not associative, so you can adjust the picture again very nicely by moving this point. There is no adjustment required for normal vector because it points towards us. It's about the projection direction of the image. The only thing missing is the up vector. In fact, this always corresponds to the vertical of the original image. The vertical must point to the right, meaning the X direction. And this can be chosen here in this drop down. The picture would be mirrored by choosing a negative direction, which is not desirable. That's why I'm going to select the positive X direction. If you look closely, then you realize that our image is repeating here. That's why we have to adjust one of our scales again. The question now is, is it X or Y? And also here, X corresponds to the horizontal of the picture and Y to the vertical of the picture. And because we have rotated the image, we have to adjust Y. 800 seems to be a good value here. And you can see the wood image was successfully attached. Of course, there are still some things missing, but nevertheless, I'm gonna start my rigid rendering.